Good afternoon. Oh, what's going on there, guys? Of course, well, still somewhat good morning here in the West Coast. It is the Earth Master on the live stream here. Uh, it is Monday, start of the work week uh, for some out there. November 22nd, today, 2021, about 11.35 a.m. California time. And the uh, latest earthquake out here, a 4.8 in the Fiji Islands area. We've seen a swarm of deep movement kicking up once again in the Fiji uh, area, Tonga area, all uh, kind of pointing towards the uh, uh, an end to the quiet spell that we've seen. Let's go ahead and look at some uh, activity taking place out there on the uh, USGS map, if we can get that back up. Along the west coast, things are starting to, I shouldn't say starting, because they have been picking up for uh, a couple days now. Uh, Southern California rocking and rolling, and also around the Ridgecrest area, we're seeing uh, a uh, pretty good swarm of activity, a little bit above background levels as far as aftershock sequences go. Also a little swarm right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault. This here is a creeping section uh, right, around, right around Pinnacles. Two points, a lot of, lot of twos there at eight kilometers for the uh, depth of those earthquakes. Also up the uh, San Andreas Fault off the northern end. We had an earthquake strike last night. Uh, uh, well off the coast of Fort Bragg, got Fort Bragg over here, San Andreas Fault System, uh, 1.7. This one pretty shallow, 1.1 kilometers below surface, right around this, uh, I'm not for sure exactly, there's a, quite a few canyons out there, but it's just in an area where we haven't seen too much earthquake activity strike. Uh, in fact, this is probably about the first time I've seen a little earthquake out here in this region in quite a while. Um, further up north, we are seeing a little bit of movement at the Gorda uh, Plate area, 2.6 near Ferndale. This one's striking uh, late last night, early this morning it looks like. Uh, 2.6, um, 10 kilometers for the default depth off the uh, coast of Eureka. Of course, the Cascadia subduction zone sits just to the east there of this um, epicenter of the 2.6. Uh, you got the Pacific Plate down here. The Gorda and the um, Juan de Fuca plate, little interaction there. We have seen some movement in the Blanco Fracture Zone up north. Quite a few, or I shouldn't say too many fours, but uh, a pair of fours, 4.4 and a 4.6, struck within the last week of that area. Um, so a lot of uh, pressure out here along the west coast ramping up. Uh, also off the coast here of uh, Southern California, and down around the Santa Barbara area, some microquakes popping off just offshore. Um, down here in the southern part of the state, uh, around the San Andreas Fault area, some movement taking place, the southern end. Also uh, watching a swarm of activity ramp up once again around the Salton Sea area. I always like to be on guard. I've been, I've been kind of watching California, West Coast, Southern California area for a couple days now. Things have just been kind of pointing towards some major buildup out here in Southern California. Uh, and this swarm of activity down here in the Salton Sea area is kind of reconfirming uh, my suspicion of uh, potential uh, larger scale movement here in the southern part of the state. But uh, we could be looking at the west coast in general uh, for that movement. We'll have to keep a close eye on that for, uh, within the next couple days, if not today. There's, uh, what do we got, about six earthquakes or so, so in this little cluster. Um, and it's most of this activity occurring, let me see when this time frame was. Looks like late last night, uh, it started getting a little swarming of activity kick up. And then uh, right around that time, we started to see a little bit of release or uh, relief of pressure over here along this Pacific plate towards the Tonga Fiji Islands area. Of course, a lot of people think, well, how, how can that, how can something thousands of miles away affect pressure along uh, this area of the plate? Well, it does. You know, we're, we're, we're very tiny here on this earth, but th these plates are massive, especially the Pacific plate, right? So you get some movement over here to the west, north, doesn't matter where it's at. We could have movement well over here on uh, a separate plate than the Pacific plate and see activity um, adjust or increase over here on this section of the plate. So 
it's all kind of connected if you look at this big picture here of the of the earth um, each little plate affects um, one another in a big or little way it just it all depends on how we're looking at as far as resistance goes and the pressure buildup of a certain area but i think uh a little bit of a relief for the west coast with this deeper movement that we've seen um, late last night early this morning but uh, it's it's still we're still watching the west coast pretty closely here you just see you can kind of see how that swarming activity kicked up and then automatically dropped off and then right around that time we've seen some deeper movement uh, near Fiji doing a little adjustment here along the west coast but uh, Still kind of watching it, folks. We're keeping a close eye on the West Coast, Southern California area. Uh, down here around the Baja, California region, 3.1. Uh, we are seeing some further movement up through the Utah and Wyoming area with a swarm of activity south of Yellowstone near Grand Teton Park. It's kind of a, a beautiful area. I was up there at Yellowstone, um, was it last year, I think? I believe it was last year. Beautiful region, lots of mountains up here. This is absolutely stunning imagery but we got a little swarm of activity kicking up here um, what have we got there the winter river range some of this movement uh, in the microquake department uh, looks like 2.0 the largest in this little cluster there of Wyoming, Wyoming. Uh, the depth of these earthquakes right around what's it, what's this canyon up here that can't be a good name death canyon whoo that's where that swarm uh, is kind of kicking up there. You can see that movement. Uh, about five earthquakes or so kicking up. And it uh, looks like most of this activity occurring uh, just after that little swarming there in the uh, Southern California region. Yellowstone National Park itself looking pretty quiet as far as uh, any type of earthquake activity goes. Uh, make sure I'm on the right one here, which we are. Not for sure why I have two windows open. Okay, um, Idaho, around the Sawtooth Fault area, pretty quiet. Just one little earthquake. But over here towards the northeast, a ways away from the Sawtooth Fault area near Dillon, Montana, uh, seeing a little swarm of activity as well with a few microquakes kicking up in that area. Uh, looks like p possibly we could be seeing a little return of movement around the uh, Pacific Northwest with some earthquakes uh, happening around Mount uh, St. Helens. A couple of small microquakes there. This could be an uh, impending sign of some trimmer activity kicking up. We'll have to check the trimmer map a little bit later this evening, see if things have ramped up any um, in the trimmer department. Oklahoma, Pecos, Texas region, all looking uh, like this activity is diminishing. Eastern part of the country, all quiet as well. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of uptick around the Aleutian Islands. Of course, this was all pretty quiet last night. We have seen a little return of movement and some deeper earthquake activity as well into the uh, Aleutian Trench subduction zone, Pacific Plate uh, interaction there. 2.1 at 100 kilometers, pretty deep earthquake movement in that area of the world. Japan, north and south remains relatively quiet, although we did see some deeper uh, movement as well. South of Japan, on the uh, Mariana Islands, northern, 4.8, 205 kilometers for that uh, deep earthquake right there. A return of some deep movement and some earthquake activity in general around the Indonesia area. This activity is very typical for this region, but there's that deep, deep earthquake activity. We're looking at 568 kilometers deep for uh, 4.8 around Fiji. So things starting to ramp up today. South America and South Sandwich Islands this year was from uh, last night, 5.2. In the South America range along the Peru Chile Trench. A couple fours kicking off um, early this morning into that area of the world. So we're just kind of watching things, folks. Yellowstone National Park, far as swarming goes, uh, we did see a little bit of movement within the last hour or so, last couple hours around the uh, borehole area. Can see a couple small spikes there. Nothing major. I, mean, I can't. I won't even. I won't even call this a swarm. Just some microquakes at the moment. But of course, this could turn uh, into a swarm at any given time. Things like that do happen on occasion, uh, especially when we get uh, quite a bit of uh, pressure out here along the west coast, and uh, things kind of looking towards that uh, possibility uh, with uh, Southern California kicking up. 
and of course uh, the activity in general around Yellowstone talking about uh, uh, Utah and the southern part of uh, or just south of Yellowstone there you can see uh, that little swarming activity I mentioned about all kind of pointing towards some heightened pressure out here in this area of the states Hawaii some activity kicking up but not a whole lot uh, things just kind of toning down a little bit this here is some cluster cluster quakes around the um, southeast area the southeast flank got Kilauea up here Mauna Loa this activity never appears to die down it's almost continuous in a way uh, as far as the earthquake frequency and the depth of these earthquakes just uh, kind of kicking off there on its typical daily frequency all right, folks, we're going to jump off here. Got somewhat of a busy day. I will be off here uh, for a little bit, but kind of monitoring the live stream. Hope everyone has a good day. We will be back a little bit later with some uh, further update uh, activity here. But uh, once again, 4.8, pretty deep earthquake. Uh, the latest quake on the globe, 568 kilometers, folks. Things could be rocking and rolling here pretty soon uh, with this renewed deep earthquake activity. Have a good day.